Lost Season 3, which everybody talks shit about, but was pretty damn fucking better than this. Nothing like putting her and saying, there's your dad. He's alive, but he's stuck in here. And we will kill him if you try and expose us. Whoa. Much more of a, a way to get her on your side. Uh, here's your dad. He's alive. We didn't kill him. There's no bad blood. But he is an he is a priority, and he's a, something that could go... He's like a loose cannon, so we got to keep him here. But if you play nice with us, if you join with us, then we'll let him go. So now we get Claire's blood to work with us. Intelligence. Something lacking in this show. They don't do that. They do nothing. Uh, send the dad and you have no idea, honey. We've got to keep quiet about this. Goldman, Goldfinger is going to is going to do stuff to us. <sighs> Forget it. I'm not gone with this. Hero finally comes back and and then Peter and Parkman and uh Nathan, three of them have that kind of moment where Peter's now defending Adam. Okay, defending him, he's holding his own, kicking some ass, taking names. And then you got Hero and Adam. This guy can teleport anywhere with Adam. As we've established that he left him in a coffin. Don't know, I don't know why. He can take him to a volcano, throw him in a fucking volcano. He can take him to a fucking mountain, Everest, leave him up on Everest and let the oxygen deprivation kill him. He could take him and throw him in the middle of the ocean, which might kill him, or, I mean, he could take him to a nuclear fucking place, and, uh, you know, he could take him anywhere in the world at any second. He decides to take him to a coffin and leave him in a coffin and then have the audacity to go back to Ando and say, he will not hurt anyone anymore. I, I don't know about you, but the guy's screaming at the top of his motherfucking lungs. Somebody will eventually hear that and dig him the fuck out. Somebody will hear the screams of a man at a fucking funeral and dig him out. Do we understand the concept? If if the coffin was soundproof, then we'd have some. If there was a way that you couldn't hear him, maybe there was a, a fucking loud something, construction, something that could... Oh, can't hear him. Okay, he's in the coffin, he's fucked. You could... Or, or, or Hero had, I don't know, put cement in the thing, tried to cement him up, and... To leave him in a coffin screaming at the top of his motherfucking lungs is, is just sad. You know, it's just ridiculous. It's, it's so... Just kill him, or... Like, I don't... Why keep him there? You... How long are you gonna keep him there? Till he learns a lesson? Till he... I don't... We don't understand what the point of that was other than to say we like this guy, we want to keep him alive because we are really scarce on fucking villains here and Adam did not amount to shit as a fucking villain this season, terrible him and, and Maya and even Siler, just three people that were bad-ish, terrible they were just bad, bad they were, they were, they sucked and the sad thing is, is that, you know, finally you have the ending where Nathan is going to come out, say he's gay. I was really hoping, yay, say you're gay already. It's about time. It's about time. Tell us you love Parkman. But he's like, I'm going to tell everybody I can fly. So they shoot him, you know? Should have said he was gay. But the, the guy comes out. They have a little montage of this shitty season. And then it's like he gets assassinated. So Parkman can't hear people's thoughts. 
Because I don't know how, unless the assassin was invisible, the guy just freaking walked and put a gun and went bang bang and walked out like nobody saw that. Uh, when Ronald Reagan fucking got assassinated, almost assassinated, by the guy that was in love with Jodie Foster, they fucking grabbed his ass and pinned him and, and th some guy just kind of like walks out in the back and you don't really know wh what the hell is he invisible what was the guy just walked up and shot him not really sure what the hell the point of that was cause are they gonna kill off Nathan that's like saying that are they gonna kill off Maya it just seems like they're not gonna kill him off in something they're gonna find some way to bring him back with the blood of Claire or some bullshit and it just seems like is if he had died there if it was real if I really believed that that was the last time we'd ever see Nathan Petrelli then I'm it might have meant something but it was like it just felt like they were trying to steal from Captain America's assassination and it just felt like even the ending with Siler was them stealing from Magneto X-Men Last Stand when he ooh I'm back you know like really really just like this is just terrible dude I mean it's like what the hell's going on here and you know I don't even like the fact that Siler's back is at the end is kind of like okay you just proved that you couldn't come up with any other villain than Siler he's like Jafar it's like Return of Jafar or like He's Doctor Doom to their fantastic. Like they have nobody else but Siler, and if his ass is not stuck in Star Trek world, you got nothing because it's like you couldn't even create compelling villains. Siler is back. Woo. I don't. I, I'm just like this the disappointment. I don't even want to make a funny out of it because it's it's so disappointing, and you're sitting there going. What the hell was this season about? Like, I've already said, like, what, what the hell? Like, that's what you end on? Like, that? That's the ending? Siler's back. So we spend an entire season to say, Siler's back. Uh, no. Can't, can't let you know that these people have powers. His brother could levitate things. As a fuck you to the guy who killed him, he can levitate things with his mind. Probably go invisible. Why did you kill the brother but not the other two? Could have stopped the bullets somehow with his magical powers. Could have done something magical and amazing the moment his brother died. Like, run after the fucking killer. Possibly. Because we know he's not really dead. And we know that this is just writers going, Ooh, let's, 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 let's have a, a moment that's like, Ooh, what's going to happen? And you're like, we know it's going to happen. Nothing. Even Monica, the, the, what the hell is the point of Monica? She's reservoir dogs, uh, I'm going to burn you. Didn't burn her. I mean, with the the boy tried to. The, what the hell is wrong with this show? Like seriously, I don't I don't know who's writing, and I don't I, I I'm saying shame on you guys. This was a terrible season, and this was really it's just disappointing, you know. And you know, you guys are in the middle of a writer strike, and I did a thing on that, but like, this is not really a very good reel to executives to be like, give us more money when you're producing crap. Really sad stuff. Just really sad. Just really, really sad. And I'm gonna say, please, please, please get J.J. Abrams or the writers of Lost or anybody, Joss Whedon, please bring in somebody with a clear vision of what the fuck to do on a show like this with character development and really bring this show back and find someone who can actually make this exciting and interesting again don't ever do anything like that again it's just it's a shameful season don't ever this was a great season to learn what not to do ever again 
it's it's just sad, really, really sad, and it has to change. Shame on all of you.